Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the Halloween update. In today's episode, we're going to be having a look-see at the new items which are available over this Halloween season, and of course are only available over this Halloween season, although like all of them, they'll probably be back next year, as it is pretty much the same fare as the previous Halloween. Halloween, except for in this Halloween edition we have a new robot, the Banshee. Much bigger and much more fearsome looking than the robot which was available last year. So first of all though, before we get into the robot itself, which we will be scrutinising and looking at today, let's have a quick look at the items. Now the big item which everyone always loves is that the new rare cubes are back. Well it's not exactly new, but the old rare cubes are back, the green glowing cubes. Essentially, they are the exact same as the regular tier 10 cubes, other than the red glow has been replaced with an eerie green one, which in my honest opinion looks way better. So, as you can see, I'm already starting to stockpile them and soon I'll be purchasing even more. So that's the first item. The second item has changed a little bit since last year, and that is the the hollow foil. So these are essentially bat wings, bat wings and bat rudders, which look absolutely awesome. However, unlike last year, these are only purchasable with Galaxy Cash, although I believe Yet they are cheaper to purchase with Galaxy Cash than their tier 10 equivalent, which is quite interesting. But last year you could essentially purchase them once you unlocked them with tech tokens, but since you could only unlock them during Halloween then they would go away, that was kind of the cost. So they're making it only Galaxy Cash this year, probably to balance that out. Do I agree with this? L not really, but I do understand their purpose, and remember this is a free game, and this is an added extra only for Halloween, and it is only a cosmetic difference to the functional blocks. So you don't really need this, but they are really cool looking. And like I say, you have a tier 8 and a tier 10 version, both of which look really, really cool. In addition to this, if we go ho over to cosmetics, you can now once again purchase the hollow mask, sorry, the hollow mask, which look fantastic. As you can see, it's the head you see on the Banshee itself, which is the Halloween mask. I've actually used one of these, well, at least I've used the ears on Derpbot, one of my 30 million ranking bots that's currently in the store, which I apparently can't find easily. Once again, I really do wish the name popped up rather than just the ranking. Look, I've, I've used it as little wings, isn't that cute? <laughs> so, that's really just about it for this Halloween, there's not really much else to cover unless I'm missing something, if I am it will be in, in the description below, so feel free to check there, but that's pretty much that. So now we'll get on to the Banshee itself. So Banshee does cost a pretty penny, it's 75,000 Galaxy Cash, which depending on how you purchase your Galaxy Cash, costs around about 28 great british do sorry great british pounds i'm not quite sure in dollars obviously dollars being more so than pounds still looks pretty darn awesome though and what do you get for this well ultimately if you were just looking at this on face value before we even get into all the little details like the free month of premium and such I wouldn't really say this bot is that worth it, however, there is one big factor with these robots as a new player which makes them a lot more valuable. Increases player level to match robot requirements. This thing is made out of Mark 10 gear. So essentially, if you buy this bot, you are boosted to it's either level 100 or level 95, I can't quite remember which, but essentially it's pretty much max level. So that's where a lot of the value is coming in, because people are paying to essentially progress straight to the end of the game. Of course, this will be your only bot to start off with, but still. So what do you get other than that? Well, you get the lovely carbon thrusters, which are personally a big... Um, 
a big kind of pet item of mine. I tried to use them wherever I can. You get 12 of them, 6 on the bottom, 6 on the top. You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You get 9 of the bat rudders. There's currently a little bit of a glitch here, which I 7. Um, Robocraft is aware of this after I tweeted them earlier, and they replied saying, whoops a daisy. You do get a, a free month of premium. Once again, it isn't mentioned here. And of course, you get the extra garage slot. You do get two of these flags, which I'm not sure if I agree that their addition was a good idea because that's kind of what's pumping up the price as well. Each of these would normally cost you 10,000 Galaxy Catch each, but they do look fantastic, uh, as you'll see later when we get into some battles. Other than that, it's all pretty standard there. Of course, you get the mask and the wings, the actual wings, four of those, and then you get a huge number of the rare tier 10 blocks, which is pretty darn cool because in all likelihood, I'll, I will probably eventually dismantle this thing like I do with most of the bots I buy, and, and the rare cubes are a nice touch. You also get 7 tier 10 plasma cannons. So ultimately, it does look pretty darn cool, and it has all the gear you'd expect on a tier 10 bomber. But it's time to test out just how well it actually does. I've already got into one match with this, with this thing, which we won, but it wasn't really a good test because our team essentially just walked over the enemy. Their mega didn't spawn in and I think a couple of their players simply left straight away, so I haven't tested how well this thing takes damage, how well it does under stressful situations, only how well it does at basically flying in circles, bombarding the ground. And it seems to handle itself pretty darn well. So, we'll be back in a second to see how this bot does in a true battle. And here we are with the first match. I'm sorry that the start of this will be cut, but Nextdoor decided that it'd be a really good time right about now to start doing their engineering work again, which was so loud I essentially had to take off my earphones to figure out what on earth was actually going on. So here we are though, it's a moment of silence and we're doing pretty well. We've took a few hits in the back, but nothing major. It seems like it's going to be one of those matches though where our team completely dominates the enemy. Doing a lot of damage and ultimately one thing I will say is this thing handles really well. It's very similar to the Eagle in fact which was available for the 4th of July in that it has a really sharp turning circle on it which feels really nice after playing a slow bot like Flank for so long. It doesn't feel particularly fast though, it doesn't feel particularly quick but its turning is really, really active. Now, someone in the chat there actually reminded me of something, so that's probably the only reason why I'm keeping this little clip in. And that's there is a premium code currently available, which I haven't used yet. So we're going to go ahead and type that in before getting into the next match. So how much RP did I get for the glorious victory? Once again, not really able to see how much damage this thing could take, but... It's still nice getting a bit of RP, considering I'm saving up for a mega buck, which is most likely going to be made out of entirely the new cubes. So, going to enter code, Alt, so Control V, and we have Hallowfest 67455 with a little dash. And remember to do caps lock, otherwise that might not work. I will put this in the description, so if you want to copy and paste it, feel free to. And I believe this gives four days of premium, uh, three days of premium or four days of premium, I'm not quite sure, I think I was on 300. So wh whichever I was on, you can make your own decisions by looking back in the video. Okay, let's get into another match and hopefully be able to record the actual start of it. Battle begins anew, and this time on the dam. Okay, so we're already being hit by plasma, that's not a particularly um, good start, but at least we haven't been hit, and that's the important things. Well, let us got a bit of a rudder glitch there. Oh, I forgot, because on this map, you are ooh, significantly higher at the starting location, so you can't go actually that high, which causes you to kind of hit the invisible barrier for flyers a lot earlier. With this spot, I don't think you can really go that high either, because of its sheer weight and slow speed. Well, we, wow, we did a lot of damage there, so, so stay back and keep bombarding at long range. Uh, apparently someone has recognised me in the enemy team. Excellent. They'll have the glory of watching me kill them. I would say hello, but actually controlling this thing and making sure I don't go far too high is really, really difficult. I remember having the exact same problem with Flank. I ended up keeping on hitting its little barrier really quickly, although I think Flank has a much um, lower barrier than this one does. Damn it, just missed, okay. Still being SMG'd though, I may need to go down for a heal if we actually have a medic still functioning. Oh, there he is. 
Uh, let's just give it a quick bombard. There we go. That one SMG is just watching the skies like a hawk. Well done him. Oh, oh, we finally lost control. Mm, not too happy with that, honestly. Didn't th I don't feel like I've took enough damage to warrant complete loss of control there, but it seems that was the case. Thank you very much to the medic. She walked all the way over there for me, but I think he sh <laughs> I think maybe he should he should be back in the actual fight. Manually healing me as well. Thank you, sir. Very kind. Very kind indeed. Oh, it's you. Take that. The, okay, well, I took out one of his legs. Oh, <laughs> whoops daisy That was me again hitting the ceiling. It, it seems to be around about 2,000. It starts kind of glitching out. Did I just destroy the... Well, I actually did destroy the Mega. I thought he just left. Wow. Boom. Okay, well... Mm -mm. GG, I'm, I'm really sorry to the person there who I simply didn't say um, say, say hello to. <laughs> I do apologise. I always find that on flyers, I find it really difficult to actually say hello to people. So, if you ever see me ignore you and you say hello, I don't mean any disrespect. It's simply I'm not the best player and controlling flyers can be difficult. So, I'm not that happy at how fast this thing loses control. But I think that was fairly obvious it was going to happen by the fact the wings are really, really out in the open. And the placement of them kind of begs to, to have um, control loss if only one wing is destroyed. So, actually, let's have a quick look at that. It's a bit of science. Let's remove that one wing and let's see how that drives in the test robot. I still think it's a good bot, though. So far, just because of its handling, I do think it's a good bot because it's fun to fly, if nothing else. Oh, actually, no, I take that back. It's completely fine with only one wing lost. I must have lost some of the rudders then instead. Yeah, I can almost... It's hard to even feel the effect of that one wing being lost unless you're trying to do a sharp turn. Okay, that's not bad. It's not quite as well at handling as... Sorry, well at handling one wing lost as Flank is, but Flank is kind of a really slow, sluggish butt that shrugs off everything because it's slow and sluggish. This thing doesn't feel slow and sluggish. Although, what I think I might do, just for the sake of my own sanity, let's make sure that's in the right place, okay? I may add a speedometer myself. We currently have the other ones. So let's take away that. And I'll be right back, and I'm going to add the other one and get straight into a battle. Third match. Let's see if we can make a third win. Where is the Mega, and where are they going to go? Okay, there's the Mega. What we're going to do is hide kind of along the mountain ridge there and only pop out once fighting is assured. Also, was everyone premium then? That would have been lovely if that was the case. Here's hoping that we can actually um, have a few full premium matches over the course of Halloween. It's always a great time to farm RP once all the different um, codes are out. In fact, I'll probably be doing a farming video as the next video, just a heads up. Also, I love these flags! That little effect is so cool! I've never actually seen the um, the 50,000 Galaxy Cache version, the mega supporting flag, since they changed it to the hollow flag mode. Drop a bomb there. May have been out of range, may have missed. Speed wise, actually no, this is really fast. It just feels slow, I think, because how long the bot is. There we go, a bit of damage. And actually, now I've said that, that's probably why it handles so weirdly upon losing wings and such. It's not very compact, it's very spread. Okay, our Mega's going this way, so we're going to back off a bit and try and go into the hills. Oh! Loud noise from outside, hopefully not getting onto the microphone. Drop a plasma there against the SMG. Missed, sadly. I don't know why I always watch my butt when I'm moving back. It's like, I don't know, I, I, I just love watching flyers do a quick like roll and such, so... Okay, let's get a bit lower. Don't know why I was kind of faffing around there. Oh, we've, we've already lost a wing. Again, the wings are so out in the open. But I do need that back before I start trying to do damage. Oh, wow, okay, control does seem a little bit off. Maybe it's because we have the um, overclock in this mode, and of course I didn't test it with overclock in the test mode. Maybe that makes a bit of a difference. In fact, it would make a bit of a difference. So, what would I do to this bot? I'll prop... Oh, hello. Well, well, at least we didn't straight away lose a wing that time. And we got a massive chunk of damage done to the SMG that hit us. So, take that, sir. 
Not gonna get the kill though, sadly. I need to move back a bit. We've lost health from where? Not sure. Nothing too important by the feel of it. Yeah, it hit something. Oh, Mega's firing up. Let's go down. Oh, our team is being crushed down there. There we go. We'll get to hit the SMG and the medic there. And we are being taken out of the skies really effectively there. Let's try to move back, but I feel that this might be my end. Really want to try and get... Oh, darn it. If he didn't jump. If he didn't jump, that would have been glorious. Stalled a bit there for some reason. Don't think I was that high. Maybe I was. Oh, both SMGs just hammering me there. I take it back. This thing can take damage decently. I've done so much damage back to them, but sadly I think this is it. Is that the Titan? Oh, wow. I was killed by the other Storbot. What a shame. But hopefully I've brought... Hopefully I've um, bought our team enough time there to maybe get the win. But I feel like the hero bonus is all we can hope for now. Nope, gun was facing down. And now I have no gun. Can I fly on the single wing? Love the screaming effects now because it's Halloween. I don't feel it too badly there. I just got a little bit too aggressive at the end. And that's like a really bad version of the uh, SMG copter you see so often. Well, good luck team. Hopefully I will get the hero bonus later. Wow, I did way worse than I thought I did. Oh, isn't it horrible when you think you've played well, but actually, you didn't. Okay, the final match on what is arguably my least favourite map as a flyer, and yet my favourite map when playing a rail. So let's see how we do. First of all though, these two medics look really nice. I love their shield placement, particularly this one. It's simple, but it looks really sturdy and small. Looks more like one of the kind of um, helper drones you'd find in sci-fi. And then we have... <laughs> A coffin. Oh, 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 it's a coffin. That's really cool. And also a really good time for me to stammer on the O. That's really cool. Okay, then. Let's go. Go forth, Mega. We all believe in you. In particular, me. So, so far, I will say this thing is a joy to, is, is an absolute joy to fly. How good it is, I'm not completely convinced, but... But I am convinced of the fact it's fun. That's the important thing. Is it worth the cost? Uh, I don't know. I think that's really up to, up up to the to the person paying for it. Honestly, if you want the boost to a maximum level, then you know what? Probably worth it. Now, I'm not sure if it actually does up your level all the way, or it simply gives you a non-permanent boost when you're playing this part. But by the sounds of it, by how it's worded, with um ups your level, I think it's permanent, although I may need to look into that. In the description, you will see the correction if I need to be corrected. Always look at the description if Lafric says something silly, there's a chance he's realising in editing. Ah, SMG, bad. Okay, Plasma there, can we get a hit on him? Oh, just a bit too high. There's their Mega, and we are actually struggling for control a little bit there. Oh, we've lost our back rudder. Sorry, no, our back wing. That one seems to be way more devastating for control than the front. Sorry, than the middle. Getting all the directions wrong here in placements. Yeah, I'm actually really struggling to keep this thing even flying straight. Oh, yeah, I've lost... Actually, complete control of this thing. Is it him shooting or is it someone else? I think someone else. Wow, complete... No, it was him. Complete loss of control, though. Why? Okay, to be fair, I have lost like the whole side, but still, ah, these wings need to be better um, armored up. That's what I will say. Hello, tiny little SMG cruiser. How are you? I could try and cap, but then everyone's going to come straight for me. In fact, by the looks of it, they already are. Let's try and get into the air, though, to make it a little bit more difficult for the plasma bomber. Do I have a medic I can perhaps try and shoot? This little thing is trying so hard. Oh, yeah, our team's lost again, sadly. Two losses, two wins. Seems like it. I can't kill their medics on my own, sadly, unless I somehow get a one-shot, which I would be really surprised by. Controlling this is taking all of my effort. And even then... 
No, no, don't, don't, don't crash into them. Stay a little bit high at least. Just don't make yourself too obvious. Hi, I'm obvious. How are you? <laughs> Excuse me. Can I just get up back up? Oh, please don't shoot me, plasma. Thank you for missing. I got a kill. The little plasma bomber that could. I got another kill. Go for his guns. I got a gun. <laughs> this is glorious. I still don't think we're going to win. But you know what? That was utterly fantastic. You know what? I, I take back this thing t um, taking damage badly. I think its armor could be done a lot better. However, in terms of it breaking apart, it seems to break apart really well. As in, all the pieces you don't really care about too much fall apart first. Oh. Just about controlling this thing. And even then, it's not really control, it's more of a guided chaos. Come on, there we go, and now... I need to wait for it to tip and then I just push it upwards and it kind of goes in the direction I want it to. Where's that bomber? That's my flag, I just tried to spot my broken flag. Interesting. Oh, I need to hit that bomber, I need to hit it. If I can't hit that bomber, we lose. But he can actually control his flyer and I can't control mine. Oh, that was my one chance. That was my chance, and I missed. I can't waste my shots with the Mega. I need to make sure every chance I get to be firing. I just can't put myself in a good position, though. Well, that didn't work. Oh, hello. Oh, we've stalled. We went too high. That's really bad if the Plasma Bomber notices. Okay, we hit the back of it. Not enough for you to do much, but still. That right there is why I do need to kill the ones on the ground. They are spotting me. Which is making life a lot harder for me in terms of trying to hide from the bomber. Okay, direct hit. Two direct hits. Can we take away his weapons. Okay, there we go. One more hit. And is he weaponless? If so, I'll just go and cap. Just to make sure. And that's for spotting me. And there we go. I think we've... I can't believe it. We actually won that. You know what? Never mind. This is now my favourite bomber just because of this battle. That was absolutely phenomenal. Go on, little bomber. Go to the cap point. You really deserve it. There we go. G freaking G. And let's make sure we don't fly further. And there we go. Who else wishes to join us? Oh, we used to have a gun. But, but, but also well done to the enemy bomber that also stood there until the very last second. Well done both teams. You both did fantastically. Is that a mega leg? Of course the coffin has a mega. Get off me, you bugger. Um, that was an interesting position for them both to finish. Top place, really happy. That was awesome. Hello, smiley face. Someone said hello. Okay, well, what a note to end it on. A really odd victory from the Moor of Defeat. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video and are enjoying Robocraft as a series, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I really like this bot, although I think I will end up scrapping it because it needs, well, it just needs a bit more armour for my taste, but I really do like it. So with, that, with those notes, once again, goodbye.